Okay, welcome. You are in the pre-live live. This is like premature relivulation. Have you just tuned in? Please stick around. Say hello. Where are you from? Tell me where you are. Do it! It's like it's a premature elabulation. We just did the beginning start part now. We're just checking is the sound working? Check out your lunch, begin like connection, sit down, unfold your lunch. Check the earphone volume. Say hello. You understand? Pre, don't go anywhere, Ned. This is just a pre live live because no wheeler. Say so like hello, man. Oh, oh, oh. Vanilla. So remember what I said, like, if you if you, if you just seen this, if it's like the first time, I'm like, remember we wanted to try to do the pre-live live, the thing where it's like, before we actually do the live, it's kind of like the backstage, the green room vibe. Think of like, sitting and chilling and somebody get, comes in and they're like, oh, oh, excuse me, yes, sorry, sorry. Um, or I'd like to find out, we, would you like a nice cold beverage? Yes, we, we have, we have, oh, we have this, yes. It used to be cold, it was in the freezer. Welcome to the green room. This is the pre-live live. Say hello in the comments. Oh, I Say hello so long. Say hello to each other. Can okay, look? Like, like, look left, look right. In this case, look up and look down. See who's here. Say hi. How are you? I'm like I'm so and so from here and there. You're with us, Etienne. And... They call no one. Friday, just by the way, and nobody fixes you come out elect. And I was kind I know we can have a serious conversation today, but 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 you're amongst friends, it's safe. <coughs> okay, I think we're good. Free live live, here we go. Uh, okay, uh, can you please just like check? You sit down so long. Like, yeah, I can't no sit down. I just want to put water mouth on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gotta stay hydrated. Woo! The pre live live. Like, wait, okay, what's up? I'm sick of my vague on this whole pre live live sticky thing where we start like thinking about what should we actually do with this piece because I don't know if you can't hear me but I get most no more from can you should just say hi hello hello also so I know you can hear me man but it's okay we are like five minutes ish away from actually starting today so uh let me first of all say thank you and welcome you are one of the first in the queue you you are the person that was like you know it's Black Friday and I gotta make sure I'm there and you were like let me sleep over last week already <laughs> and and you're here so congratulations in the future it will have some importance i'm sure it will have a value but for right now all you get is a liquor hug and a swinchi and a drinky to say thank you and welcome uh if this is the first time you even spot this or even see this then i would like to say hello my name is etienne and I am looking to impact the world in a positive way through conversation, creation, and connection. And this is my uh, daily live where I have 
important conversations, funny conversations, interesting conversations. It's really, it just, it, it feeds off of the energy of the community, which is fantastic. You, you're talking about a bunch of people that are positive, driven, dedicated, understanding, caring, loving. That's like the whole community. And, and we feed off each other. And a lot of what I get out of the conversations that we have post live, because you know that 30 minutes is not enough time, especially if you're talking about something that really matters. Or if, you, if you're connected to something that speaks to you, you want to continue the conversation. So we do that. And, and a lot of the times out of those conversations, new topics or new uh, uh, important ideas or anything. And everybody has a voice. That's the most important thing about this community is you come here to be heard and to hear. Uh, so inspired by what we had in our previous, I think it was last week somewhere, we had a live uh, conversation regarding femicide and the ridiculous numbers and how it can still even be a thing. How are we still, how are we not putting as much energy, money, and and I hate using the word manpower, but just like, you know, that's how it is, it, all, all of the things that come to it. But like enough of that behind femicide as what we did with COVID-side. I'm just, I'm curious. You know, it sometimes makes me scratch my head and ask questions, but based off of that conversation and what we realized was the landscape that we had, I, I realized we needed to have a conversation again on femicide, which will happen in next week because that conversation is never going to end. But we, out of that one episode, fed out of the community, which is so fantastic, we established, and I say we all the time because it's not just about me. It's not even me anymore. I was just like, hey, this is something I'm doing and I'm kind of like into doing this. And it, whoever is similar, because I'm just looking to create connections with you because you are incredible. You matter. You have a story. And I believe that you are much, much more important than what you think you are. And I like to help people take those first few steps. Um, because I've been where you at. I've, I've experienced life like that before. Right? And and so out of that conversation, when I say we, I mean us, because the community, we're so connected with each other. It was like, we need to have a dedicated day, at least start with something that's just talking about something that's focused around the issues, the problems, the education, the updates, the latest information that has to do with everything women because we know the future is female let's be honest with each other ladies and gentlemen we've had our time being controlled and manipulated and and, and like decided for by the patriarchy and yes like wait why are you saying that but, but it's the truth and the future is female so it's important for us to have these kind of conversations and today we're having like a really 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 important conversation because i think that Part of fixing the problem is knowing that there is a problem. I know you, a lot of people are like, oh, you have to acknowledge that there's a problem. And you, can, you can't acknowledge it. You don't know if you don't know. And one of the hardest things for us to make peace with as human beings is sometimes we need to make peace with the fact that you don't even know what you don't even know. Like you don't know. You don't know. You don't. You've never, ever been exposed to, experienced it, or come across it, or decided to learn. But you don't know that you do not know and, and a perfect example is for example let's take music you know music it's great it's lovely but if i tell you there are people that make music with leaves you're like i didn't even know that there were people that used other things outside of like instruments to make music yeah of course you didn't know because you didn't know that you didn't know there's so much more information out there than that that you actually think and don't get fooled by the fact that you have quick access to it because of this beautiful little thingy in your hand and that amazing thing on your desktop and your TV and your fridge because it's now everywhere in your car, on your watch, on your glasses. It's everywhere. You can literally access information anywhere. Doesn't mean that you understand what exactly is guaning. So, so it's important for us to have conversations and that's something that's important to me. It, it rings true to core values in me. And that is because I understand from a perspective of not knowing that I didn't know. And that brings me to why we talk about rape culture. I got some, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not going to say I got messages. Let me rather just say I had some concerned conversation around this specific 
uh, issue. Because it's like, yeah, Etienne, don't sensationalize things. You're like a funny person. You do like voices and skits and you're actually like a comedian vibe guy. And, you know, you help entrepreneurs and things like that. And you're a man. And 10 to 1, probably you've raped someone or incited rape or allowed it to happen. Or in any case, because we'll get to that part so you can understand what actually rape culture is because that's what feeds it. Um, but I was like, look, who am I? Who am I actually? Who? I'm like, I'm, I'm flattered that you think that this random dude is someone that should be cautious about what they think and say and do because it could be like hurting their image and the brand or whatever, which is like, okay, cool. That's like nice to know, but 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 what what why I'm doing it is because if you see something, you should say something. And once you've seen something, you should do something. And from what I've seen in terms of my own community within what happens in my own town, daily, what's happened in my own personal life, what's happened in my circle, what's it, like I can't see those things and just be like, yeah, don't, 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 don't do anything, don't say anything. And, and sure, maybe, maybe it's like people's intentions for, for doing things like this, or using a platform like this and like getting growth and getting followers and, and starting to build a brand and whatever. Like you start thinking about like money and like what's your narrative and the rest of it. But I feel like it's more important for you to use whatever platform you have, whatever information you have, whatever head start you have, whatever, whatever advantage you know is yours that you could use to further advance someone else that you didn't have, that you discovered, that you acquired, that you, you don't have to think about, oh, I've got to give it to somebody in exchange for money or I've got to get something. You just have to freaking supply it because not everybody's going to act. And you can provide all the information and all the tools, but then the people that will act, they're the ones that are going to listen. And it's my duty to have gone from some somebody, and I'm not, please don't misunderstand this. I'm not saying anything negative about your intentions. If your intention is to get onto a platform like TikTok or anything else and be like, I'm going to grow to like a hundred thousand followers and I'm going to get like onto the creator program. I'm going to do cool. Do your thing. I'm not, I'm not here to judge or push your, your, I don't even want to call it a hustle because it's not a hustle. If it's a thing you love doing, you shouldn't call it a hustle. It should be your main thing. Anyway, um, I don't want to knock that, but what I'm saying is that you have an a, a, a unspoken responsibility to the rest of your human beings. The brothers and sisters, the people that you're like, yeah, I gotta get to that 100,000, those 100,000, that one. You have a responsibility that because of the fact that you are attracting more and more people and, tr and views and you're shaping perspective and you are, and even if I'm like, I'm not saying that what I'm saying is gonna shape your perspective and give you something. I'm not that arrogant or self-centered to think that I'm that special. But like I said, I just want you to take the first step. Some cases people don't even know. Some people haven't even had a conversation or even done the research because they're too afraid or they're too kept back by their emotions or they are like afraid of what people are going to tell you, whatever. If I can speak for those who cannot speak and say the things that those that want to say it for the ones that need to hear it can't say it, if I, it's my responsibility to my society, to my, if I'm truly, honestly committed to one, anything, I should be committed to making sure that the society is better, that the world that we live in is better than it was yesterday and that it's going to be even better for the kids and the people that are coming in the future so that they can make it even more better. Is that even a thing? Is that even more better? Yeah, some of them even more better. So now I'm not trying to qualify it because at the same time, I was also getting messages from people saying, holy shit, it is damn. Can't you like get someone, this one and this one? They need to be part of this conversation. Uh, it's and I'm so glad that you can't, oh, can't we just make it like the whole hour or can't we just make it long? Can we have a longer conversation? Can't you maybe make this a, a offline combo or something? Can we create it? I don't know. And there's so much, which gave me the, the confirmation that the responsibility that I was speaking about that I've identified, it's not an illusion. It's my duty to make use of what I have, the advantage that I've been given, the platform, the audience, the gifts, the talents, the opportunity, the amazing community that we are, that I, that I am surrounded by and that you can be surrounded by too, we have to have the conversations that matter. And today we're going to be talking about rape culture. Now I'd like you to please just 
have an open mind in this and also understand that this is not a gospel. I'm not trying to put anything on you. I'm not trying to like dictate. I don't know. All I can do is have the conversation and that's what this is. So if you want to add, if you disagree, if you agree, if you've got something that you want to maybe contribute, please share your thoughts with us in the comments. And I know that we might run out of time and we won't get to everybody. And that's why it's so important to add the link. Like I'm not just trying to be like, yeah, I go to my thing. Like there's a link in my bio that's the first one. Connect with our Telegram group so that we can continue the conversation. So you can connect with the people. So that we can share the resources. So that we can continue doing the work that needs to be done. So two of the important things I wanted to get out of the way um, is, is, is where, share your thoughts and where you can continue the conversation. And then I also wanted to then say thank you for all of you for being here. You could be anywhere. Your attention could be anywhere else. You could have done anything else with your data, with your time, but you chose to be here and you're important. And I want to know what you are thinking about this. So please, I will get to the comments. I just have a few things I want to highlight because the whole point of this conversation is to be a conversation. So I just want to set the tone quickly. So I want to start off with, I've got a couple of resources which I will be sharing in the Telegram group. But I want to start off with just a few things so that you can have a base or a framing device. Keeping keys in your, uh, keeping keys in your hand as a potential weapon. You got to check your car before you get in. Don't go out after dark all by yourself. You got to make sure you take different routes from home and to work and to where you hang out regularly. Don't get into an elevator if you're the only woman in there, hey? You got to carry like pepper spray or some weapon or something. Listen, I know that you love music and it's not really, but, but don't jog with headphones or earphones on. You've got to be aware. You better, you say, listen, I love animals, eh? But if you're thinking about getting a dog, you better get a big one. A huge protective dog. Don't live in on a first floor apartment. Listen, I know that this is like you're the first person in your family to actually be able to start the journey to owning your own. But don't go on a first floor. You're a woman. Hey, make sure that you meet people in a public place for a first date, eh? Oh, there's some weirdos. Hey, how many times you check to see if your windows and doors are locked? Make sure you check your windows and doors are locked. Hey, if you're going to go to bed, make sure you leave the outside lights on. Never, ever rest on a highway. Listen, those areas that are there, like the little, don't do it. If you're alone and you're a woman, don't do it. Listen, if you're going to have a, make sure that it's actually the default man one. If you're going to park somewhere or if you're going to like maybe walk or you just want to explore or just experience a new area, or to make sure it's well lit and that there's somebody of authority, like a security. Hey, make sure you avoid eye contact with men on the street, hey? Just don't, don't, it doesn't matter what you do, don't look at them. If you hear it, don't look, don't make eye contact. You better make sure that you use an assertive type of eye contact if you do though. So they must see your inter Don't use underground, underground parking garages, eh? Now, if you just jumped in and you're a guy, everything you just heard... And not even everything. That's just like scraping the surface of what our sisters, our mothers, our aunts, our cousins, our colleagues, our friends, our neighbors, our, our family, like our wives, our girlfriends, our young girls. This is something that is seen as helping. It's good advice. I think it's kind of like more of a sign of the sickness that is systemically in our society, right? Um, let me just go to something else I want to share with you. I'm going to share this. There's a picture that I, I, I have here of what is called the rape culture pyramid, right? And at the base, at the bottom, the thing that's like, oh, man, you know, boys will be boys. <laughs> oh, you know, that's just how guys are. That's the stuff that builds the foundation of rape culture. So let me just 
I'm just gonna like shoot off a few of these. Cat calling. Yo, baby. Yo, Bina. And my soap. I frit alles op. <laughs> Yo, girl, in aan me mee. Zij moet niet zo wie ze man kon praat, bitchy man. Ik zie hem ons niet. Hallo. Sexy. Hé man, ze heeft nogal nice haren. Yo, yo, je vindt alles nogal zacht, jong. Kom eens maar, maar niet zo vies, kom ik rek gewoon hoe lekker ik zei. Ja, mijn broer en toestier, ik hoest me zo met jouw foto, man. Kijk hier, kom ik wees voor jou. Jesse, bro, je kan zo stak flippen alles zien. Zijn het niet veel gestuurd, hou hé? Ik heb maar net gezien, kijk hier, Steve, heel goed, dat zijn ze enigste een van mij. Yo, nee. Jij is rarig, je ou. Jij is die ou. So check this out. Let me tell you a joke quick. So this girl's passed out because she drank too much, right? Sound familiar? Sound innocent? Sound like I was like just like a ha ha ha. I'm not saying this to try to make you feel shit. I'm not trying to make you like think that I'm standing up here all high and mighty and I'm pointing the finger. I'm trying to form the frame of what this conversation is about. And I'm thinking you're starting to get an idea of what rape culture is, but let's just quickly check. EWN said in, a, in an article, uh, they wrote this article five months ago, right? And it's entitled, Rape Culture in South African Schools. Where it comes from and how to change it. In August 2021, a six-year-old grade one learner in South Africa was raped. Carries on, carries on. One in five children are victims of sexual abuse in South Africa, representing 19.8% compared to the global average. Let me just say that again. One in five children are victims of sexual abuse in South Africa, representing 19.8% compared to the global average for girls, which is 18%. And 8% for boys. 18% for girls and 18% for boys. Rape and other forms of violence in and around our schools reflect a broader problem in the country. And the next thing I want to quickly share with you in the last one before we carry on to actually hear from you because I love to hear from you and I want to have this be an open conversation is what can we be what can be done? All right. So just so that we can at least get there as well. So we need to really start critically examining our own assumptions about gender. Whatever you think, you know, whatever you think, you don't know. Even the things you don't even know that you don't know. Be more critical. You have to be more conscious about the information and the entertainment that you consume through the media. Let's be honest, so many plots in movies and things are like this. Like it's so easy. It's like commonplace. It's like, yeah, so uh, we got this call and uh, it seems that she was a rape victim. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. That's horrible. We got to stop this. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and interview this person and go and have a conversation. You even hear it in songs and stuff. Like you'll see it in picked, like it's subtle in some cases, but it's there. You just got to be more conscious about it. Be aware of the things that you consume. Be aware of what you are putting yourself in front of and considering to be the informational source that you want to use. Do not feed rape culture with silence. Don't keep quiet. And don't think that you are not approving it by keeping quiet. It's like, oh. Rather's not say anything. I don't want to get involved. You're approving it. When people around you make these comments, or if they send you things that's offensive, or if you know it's like out of line for you as a king, it is your duty to be like, yo, no way, no how, for as long as I am here and within this vicinity, vicinity, will I allow for anyone to speak that way, say those things, do that thing? Let me tell you why what you did said are doing is incorrect and let me help you 
fix it. Or get onto the path of fixing or point you in the direction of people that can fix it. But don't keep quiet. And the last one, which is the hardest thing, and that's something that even I struggle with sometimes and why I'm, I'm so convinced that from the words and from the temperature of what the community has said and what I've seen in my own community, actively working against rape culture by volunteering your time, your services, or advocacy. And that's what we're doing here. So let's jump straight into the conversation. Uh, I have a bunch of places that I'm going to share with you at the end of the chat, but I would like to hear from you. So I I also just want to say that before we do this, normally what I do is I'll end up saying hi and I'll greet my usual suspects and the MVPs, you know, everybody's an MVP, but the ones that are like, oh, gee, been around since the day. I normally do that, but we're going to skip over that because I really think that the important thing today is to have this conversation. So don't feel any type of way i still love you you even the new one that just arrived the person that we don't haven't met before that we're still gonna meet share your thoughts we're talking about rape culture what we can do what's your story don't let me decide for you say your say this is a safe space we're all family and friends I, i should actually just activate some moderators so you know i'm just gonna collect some uh moderators quickly uh so that we can ensure that we Keep an eye on, oh, we've got all three, three already, perfect. Three moderators are on board already. So thank you, ladies. Please make sure that you just keep an eye on some of the comments for us. All right, let's go and have a look. Uh, Straight off the bat, uh, yes, the future is female. Preach, it is the truth. Um, And if you just joined us, welcome, you beautiful souls. It is so great to have you here. I know it's it's a pretty heavy thing to digest on a Friday. I mean, you've had an uphill, but it's an important conversation that we need to have. And I'd love to hear from you. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see. Everybody's so friendly and welcoming and saying hi. Oh, Z, don't wear certain clothing. How could I forget that? Or, or, or one of my favorite ones. It's like, oh, well, you know what you shouldn't have done? You shouldn't have led him on. Why did you act like that? Why did you dance so slutty? Come on, man. So I can let you happy. This is my lunch. I'm having a plum. Mmm, the key thing. So even with my sister, it blows my mind that this is something that has to happen. She has that thing that you stick your fingers in and at the top part, just so you can hold the keys in your hand. And then if, if some, there's no such thing for men. Like, just think of how privileged you are, guys. For one moment, you can go wherever you, everything that you're going to hear, all the stuff that you're going to read, Think of if that's like what you're like, if you like really reflect and you're like, do you have to do that? Do you have to have like something to protect yourself from somebody that you don't even know just in case? I make self-defense key rings for women. It shouldn't be a thing, but it is. Z, ah, brilliant. It is, it shouldn't be a thing. But the fact that it is needed and that you saw that need and stepped in and created the activity is amazing connect with z her handle is z16061 but if you really want to try to have a more intimate conversation i promise you if you click on the link in my bio and you connect with the telegram group you will be able to have a connection with z and actually either get your hands on one find out how you can help sponsor somebody some whatever that's what that community is about so very amazing don't leave your home at the same time every morning. Yo, ima- imagine. Imagine something a lot of people take for granted. Ima- imagine you you don't even think about that. You're like, you're just like, I'm living my life. I'm minding my own business. And I'm just going about my day like how I do every single day. And you have to constantly be worried about maybe today is that day. And it's not like some stranger even from what we read and what I'm going to share in the group. is like, it could be your freaking family. It could be the neighbor, it could be the brother, it could be the guy that is is supposed to be protecting you. Anyway, uh, let's have a look here. That's great. Hello. Don't take the same route every day. That's true. Be polite to men. Don't not, but not too polite or you'll give them off the wrong vibe. Oh, I'm raising a two and a half year old independent warrior princess and one of the most notable things that were natural to her from the beginning when she started getting an idea of what's happening around her 
which broke my heart was that she was conscious about men. She, like, you're not even, now she's two and a half, but like before, like I'm talking early stages, she was conscious about men. She knew there was something about men that already made her feel, yo, caution, I can't speak, wipe my own bums, eat food, drink, what, eat solid, but I know I need to be, what the, what kind of society? And then she has to be taught how to communicate with you. Anyway, it's not fair. And if you know this, and if you're aware of this, then you cannot stand by. If you, if you don't know when you're hearing about it for the first time, and you feel guilty, or you feel like really shitty about it, take a moment to actually make peace with that feeling. Don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss it because you are going to cheapen the pain. You're going to cheapen the lives lost. You're going to cheapen the people that have actually experienced it either directly or indirectly affected by you, King, because you didn't know that you didn't know. So own that shit. Own the shit from the things that you allowed with the boys. Own the things during the time when you were in, when you were in, not in, in innocent, you were ill-informed, ignorant. You were not aware. You were still stuck and bound by the chains of what society deemed for you to be masculine and what it means to be the O or the man or but the fact that you feel that way because you're hearing this information now it means that you know already then there was something wrong with that and you know you know so own it don't 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 let it affect you in a way that stops you from thinking that you can move beyond that and you can change things and you can connect and heal and make sure that you are a force against the repetition of that. But it starts with owning it. My ex-partner was in security. He taught me this. It happens in the workplace every day. Oh, you know how guilty I even feel? Because there was a time where even in the workplace, I didn't understand it. But I, and you know what the thing is? I feel like for me, a lot of the time I, I gravitated towards women always. Like I always had more female friends and it wasn't like a... It's, 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 I don't know. I just we can. I don't understand, but it just was always a connection, an easier way for me to talk to, interact with, feel authentically, genuinely in present was around ladies, women, and girls at those stages when I was a young boy, young man, or a man. And 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 and, and this is something that like always, it's 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 it blows my mind that at work. Hey, baby. Oh, damn. Look at that. But dunk it dunk. Sure, it might be innocent and sure it might be played off kind of like because of the. But I didn't understand until I matured in my understanding of why this is even a, a conversation and what's actually happening and educating myself on what this entire thing actually is instead of just accepting what somebody else has said and done some reading. Look who's there. Read some stories. Spoke to actual women who were brave enough to share their story. And, and, and I was like, oh shit, it's in you, you didn't do that. In the workplace, that stuff that you think is innocent, reflect, reflect. Kings, reflect. Because the most important job that you are doing without even knowing is providing an example to the youth. Anyway. Yes, men feed into that unknowingly thinking it appeals to women. It's so true. It's so true. Problem is people are getting jobs are so young. They want to fit in and never want to be a whistleblower because of the fear of getting out of there. And that's just another sign of how sick our society is. Can you freaking believe it? Let me flip the script for you quickly. Okay, let's say everything that you know about rape culture, femicide, about GBV, everything you know about the oppressive nature of society about the systematic oppression and de degradation and destruction of the most powerful physical and spiritual creature and being on the in the existence of women imagine the script was flipped and it was on men and you couldn't leave your house you had to have a thing on your phone that was going to be connected constantly to somebody else somewhere or your family so that they know where you are at all times in case and because you never know somebody. Can I imagine that's the kind of world you're living in? And the worst thing is if someone sees a toxic potential scenario or a 
prayer perpetrator or predator or somebody that's like it could be doing something that could directly do the shit that you have no control over and the result of that person that sees it saying something is they lose their job they get ostracized by the community they get labeled as a pimper that would never happen do you know why you can't imagine it because it won't happen because it doesn't make sense why are we allowing it to make sense now see something say something see something do something and the thing is you don't even need to be like yeah but i don't want to know you, you there are organizations and i'm going to share them with you there are places you can go to people that are prepared to be like yo let me stand in the front lines i will be that blocker and you can talk to them and they will deal with it they will handle it for you with a freaking ocean behind them of mm, women warriors community people human beings centered at trying to stop the, the the origin the source of this thing through education anyway so yeah you're right whistleblowing at work horrible that you get punished for it uh, i don't think um, that should be an excuse, so in September, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be, you're right, you should say it anyway, speak up, say something, true, but when you look at where the youth get employed, call centers, agree, scary stats, and everything is broadcasted in those places, you know what's really, what's really terrifying about the, the, the whole influence of kids, and the youth, and the rest of it, is that we are, we have left, we've left the guidance up to others, and I know that people are going to say the same thing that when you talk about children, it's like, oh, you know, it's your responsibility as a parent to guide the kids. Sure, fine. Give me some help. Tell me how. And, and I'm not saying that there aren't people that do that and there aren't enough. There definitely are not enough. There should always be more. It should be commonplace. It should be like I was saying when we were talking about femicide. There should be a dedicated radio station, a dedicated TV channel, a dedicated everything that is publicly broadcast. It should be pushed. That's the thing that should be pushed in front of my face every single day instead of, hey, do you want to learn how to drop ship? Sure, I want to change my economies. Sure, I want to get financially free. Sure, I'm looking at trying to get into the uh, economy of the future and the thing that's going to be relevant of what's happening. But why is that getting pushed into my face instead of the thing that is really affecting all of the whole everything else we need to do more to try to teach our boys we need to stop relying on other people what are you doing what am I, i'm what am i doing okay what are you doing it's in what i'm doing is i am not just doing this don't think that this is where it stops i try to be a positive influence in everything i do when i interact with the youth when i talk to young boys when i talk to young girls when i talk to other people when i speak to parents when i see shit happening in it and i'm sorry i know i'm swearing a lot but it's like i'm my bloody boss, a suvaram. When I see something, if I don't act, I'll say something. I'll do, I'll, there is no way I'm staying still. And and the thing is, I will rather pre practice what I preach. And yeah, sure, maybe I'm not affecting as many people. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe I could be doing a lot more. But I don't care what your measuring staff is. That one, one instance is enough because it affected one person, and one person matters. We need to educate our youth and boys at the foundation level. Educate boys and prepare girls. You know what sucks that we have to prepare girls? How to protect themselves, how to carry themselves. How to, literally the one big lie out of all of that is the yourself because it has nothing to do with who they are. Educate girls too, not just accept that behavior. True, set the framework. Teach them how to be independent warrior princesses in the sense from, I say princesses, but, and I don't mean like, oh, princess, but like from a young age, because you need to equip them the same way that you're going to equip them with a, don't touch the stove, it's hot. And if you touch the stove, you're going to burn. And you have to say it over and over and over and over and over. And yes, even after saying it a thousand times, your child's still going to touch the stove and burn. Maybe not the plate, but the thing, but it's your job to then keep going. Okay, you've burnt yourself. I love you. And I'm here for you. And I was saying that you need to do this, but I'm going to remind you every day, don't touch the stove. Don't touch the stove. Look what daddy does. Look what mommy does. We don't touch the stove. If we could. Anyway. Agree to teach them about boundaries. For the 30% of those boys that won't, uh, that won't, won't learn. Oof. Absolutely. Especially the boys tease you because they like your response. I hate, I will never, 
I have made it a point that that is not something I'm going to solidify in my daughter's life. You, that is some bullshit. Where is paint? No. It's, and I know it's not because you do it. That is bullshit. You cannot tell me that, oh, yeah, because he's hurting you. And I was there. I knew it. it was like, oh, that's the only reason why, because he's teasing you because he likes you. It's bullshit. We are perpetuating the uh, uh, violent behavior. And yeah, sure, you're not saying it's going to be rape, but it, and it will end up turning rape, but it, it starts somewhere. It starts somewhere. You're, you're reinforcing negative behavior that could, even if there's a 1% chance. A zero point zero, forget that. Even if there's a zero point zero 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 one percent chance that that thing could turn out to be the thing that helps that person think it's okay to force themselves. Nah, fam, we gotta do. We gotta do something. Social etiquette in general. This, the worst, and uh, that's the problem right there. It should be our responsibility. It's true. We should we should take responsibility, one. And two, just because boys did not learn, it should remain the responsibility of the boys. I agree, but I still teach my girl that you can trust, but you trust yourself first. Oh, power. Feels wrong? If it's wrong, period. If it feels wrong, it is wrong, period. If it feels wrong, it is wrong, period. Period. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. Period. As a woman, we live in a constant state of hyper. Uh, oh man, hyper vigilance. It's so unfair. Whether we were victims or not, that is the truth. Uh, like sands through an hourglass. What do you think about content? So here's something that that I also find really interesting, and I said this the other day, and I know we've got going a little bit over time, but I think we've got about six minutes before they cut me off or they give me issues. Um, so. I'll say this quickly on content. When it comes to content, what I was talking about, um, the sexualization of things, where there's like this image that is displayed and put in front of you of what is acceptable and what is the standard that I feel agencies, photographers, creatives, corporates, that's their responsibility because they control the narrative over the broader spectrum. The ad you see on TV, the ad you see in print, the ad you see on your, on your package, the words, all that stuff. Most of the narrative is controlled by larger people with much bigger budgets. And unfortunately, they still perpetuate the idea that sex sells. And the one thing that really irritates me is that we are moving into a creator economy. So you'll see that, that people are not just getting into creating content for the sake of like, yeah, I want followers so that I can monetize. It's like you can get paid without followers to create content. That's like a primary thing of what I do. I, I do the thing that everybody else thinks that they want to do when it comes to like content marketing or digital online brand um, uh, strategy or what's your content strategy like I actually do that I write the blogs I put the video content together I put the audio together I make the I write the scripts I put the stress I do all of that and and the thing is that that economy is still developing and it's still growing but people are realizing that they can make money off of this and they can actually start depending entirely on this and if the narrative is Show some skin, make sure that it's sexy, the hero in the story must be male. There must always be that dynamic when it comes to women and men's roles in the thing. The man must like save the woman somehow or the women are only meant for like something that's going to be either sexual, enticing, mothering, nurturing, entertaining or like, a, you know what I mean? It doesn't, you don't really normally see... Like, let's take a simple role, washing powder. The kind of way that they portray women is always like, oh, you're such a caring mother. Sure, that's like the, the what they want you to see. But they are perpetuating the stereotype that this is the role of a woman. You take care of your family and you make the decision about what fabric softener you make. And you're so empowered by choosing which fabric softener you use. And only these type of mothers that are like, look at my house, it's such a mess. And the cake. The narrative is controlled by the broader media. And the thing, the only place that you can affect that content, that, 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 that sex sells, is by not consuming it. And, and, and by not consuming it, you will help the creator economy that's coming, like the, Piti, Yanni, Kusi, Makhrita, Olivia, Dante, all the rest of us that are not joining into the creative economy. You will help them not make the content that perpetu perpetu perpetuates stereotypes around women, the, the fragility of women, the roles of women, perpetuate such scenarios and things that help normalize and ease catcalling and like sort of like the boys will be boys thinking. 
that's just where I stand. I hope I didn't babble on too long, but I, I'm passionate about because that's like literally the thing that I do. We need to uh, we need to be loud about this. If people feel uncomfortable, it's working. Respect. You're addressing one side of the issue. Oh, interesting. I think we might run out of time though, but please join the, 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 that's really nice. I'd love to hear what your perspective is. Please join the Telegram group. We're going to carry on with this. I'll actually live stream, continue on if you can for at least another 15 or 20 minutes in the Telegram group. So when this ends, click on my profile, go to the link in my bio, click on join the Telegram group community, and we're gonna continue the live stream because I don't wanna get cut off and I don't wanna not be able to post this as a replay. But I would love to hear from you. The other side of the, the conversation, that's really interesting, I wanna know what the issue is. The fact that you are trying is more than what most people do. What's the other side? or in TikTok was originally designed for young creators like engineers and scientists, etc. Oh, okay, that will be the last comment that I, I read, and I'm gonna leave it there until we carry on in the Telegram group, but the one thing I will say is that you are 100% right. TikTok was specifically designed to help that, and that was what the algorithm was designed to, to program, or not to help to reward the user so they could gain value and actually uh, grow this community at large, but an interesting perspective, I'm not saying this is what it is, I'm not saying this is the law, but an interesting perspective is that the reason why it was designed in China and it worked so well and it was then, it took a while before it was repurposed and released into the West and into America is because it's actually a weapon. Because the, the same algorithm that is driven by interest, literally, that's why people can overnight become successful. Why your one post after posting for three months consistently can turn you into like a influencer. They, instead of rewarding engineering and social justice and advancement of intellect and an education, the international or American version rewards dancing and under the, uh, under the flag of creativity. Now I hope they don't freaking cut me off because like I will disclaimer, all the views and, and opinions expressed in this are my own, and that is all they are. They are just here for educational purposes. They do not mean that this is the real fact. Please do some researching on your own. That is the purpose of this platform. But I'm gonna say goodbye, and I wanna see you in our Telegram group where we will continue for the next 15 minutes. I know you still got lunch till two. Stick around. We're gonna do it in there. I'm gonna go live there in the Telegram group. Go to my profile. Can click on the Telegram community and let's just continue this conversation. I really want to know what the other side of the issue is. Um, if you've just joined, let me quickly say thank you for coming here. If you missed it, we're going to have a replay of this on YouTube later on. Thank you to everybody that contributed. Thank you for you for being here and thank you for continuing to support this channel. Thank you for continuing to be part of this community and for being heard and for being available to hear you matter don't let anybody else tell you any different you matter and we love you keep shining your light thank you for everything i'll see you guys in the telegram group or i'll see you monday first thing be safe and take care of yourself